everybody. Um, hope you are doing well out there. Um, you know, just taking care of yourself, your body, your soul. I hope um, you're staying happy and healthy. Today we're gonna do an intermediate vinyasa flow and it's 30 minutes, so we're gonna get right to it. There's not gonna be much of a warm up, um, but we are gonna be warming up with sun salutations today, which is a wonderful warm up to get started, get everything moving in your body, and then we're gonna move into our flow and then end with um, the baby grasshopper. So we're gonna start today at our, the top of our mats in standing position. Um, and if you're following along on Spotify, you can start to play your music now. All right, so starting at the top of our mat, closing our eyes, big toes together, heels slightly apart. Just grounding in, taking our time here to settle into the mat, this earth. Bringing our shoulders up to our ears, back and all the way down. Our fingers shooting energy down onto this earth. Our heels are apart. And as we notice our heels pressing into the earth, bringing that energy all the way up through our legs to our spine, to the top of our head. Starting to bring more attention onto our breath, our prana. And as we breathe in, allowing our chest to rise, our belly button as well, our hips. As we exhale, letting go, getting a little lighter. So inhaling this brand new energy, this life force, and exhaling things that are holding us down, weighing us down, letting that go. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Your next inhale, arms all the way up, palms touch, Urdhva Hastasana. Start to look up. Your eyes can still be closed. Press into this earth. Bring that energy up again all the way to your fingertips this time. Belly button to your spine. Engage your core. Breathe, inhale, lengthen your spine and then exhale, fold all the way down. Fingertips to your mat. Your first forward fold, take your time here. Bend your knees as much as you need. Allow your head to hang. Maybe take a rag doll if you choose. Inhale, bringing your hands to your shin, half flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down all the way, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms all the way up, palms touch, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, down to the side, Tadasana or Samasthiti B. Inhale, arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half flat back, Arda. Exhale, plant your hands, bring your legs back to plank, Palakasana. This first one, take time to set up. Fan out your fingertips, press into the mat. Engage your Hasta Bandha. Bring your heels reaching towards the top, I mean the back of your mat. Engage your core, tuck in your tailbone, breathe. Inhale, bend your elbows, come down one straight line. Inhale, untuck your toes, shoulders back. Bhujangasana Cobra. 
Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, shoulders back again, elbows in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, tuck in your toes, press into the mat, hips back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk out to dog, do whatever your body is calling for here. If you can bend your knees, maybe take a scorpion dog, three leg dog, whatever you choose here. Coming back to your stillness. Starting your ujjayi breath here. Inhale one. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Bend your knees, look forward. Walk slowly up to the top of your mat. Inhale, half flat back, Ardha. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into the mat, arms all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center down to the side, Samastiti V. Inhale, arms up, Urdhva. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half flat back, Ardha. Exhale, plant your hands, legs back, Vinyasa. So from plank coming to chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog, adamuka. Meeting downward dog, finding our stillness when we're there and our breath, if you've lost it. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, walk float at top of your mat. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up, Urdhva. Exhale, hands to heart center down to the side, Samastiti V. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Find your intention for practice today. What's on your heart? What's on your mind? What words do you need to tell yourself today to help you in the present moment, in this present day? Is it courage, strength, love? With your intention in mind, let's start to flow. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, Urdhva. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half flat back, Ardha. Exhale, plant your hands, legs back, Vinyasa. Meet in downward facing dog. Breath to movement. Inhale, right leg up, three leg dog. This first flow, we're gonna take slowly about five breaths, starting to bring your toes towards your shin, flex your feet, press into the mat, shoulders are squared to the front of the mat, hips squared, parallel to your shoulders, exhale, right knee to right elbow, hold, press into the mat, engage your hasta banda, Keep bringing that right foot towards your right glute. Inhale, right leg back, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, hold. Catch your back, make some more room, breathe. Right foot kicks out, in line with that left hand. Left hand comes all the way up, fall in triangle. So as we flow in this fallen triangle, if you want more of a challenge here, you can start to raise up that right foot or leave it on the ground in line with your right hand. Left hand comes back down, right knee into your chest, 
Bring that right foot, place it where your right hand is. Again, hold and breathe. Right arm comes up all the way. Twisted here. If you've lost your breath, find it. Be still. Exhale, right hand back down onto the mat. As we inhale, we're gonna press in with our left foot. Engage your core, bring your palms all the way back. Come up halfway. That right knee is still attempting to be on top of your right ankle. Inhale, hands come up. Palms face each other this time. Inhale, press into your right foot. Left knee comes up. Palms together. Find your balance. Breathe. Left foot comes down onto the mat. We're going to take a nice yogi squat here. So press in to the insides of your knees with your elbows, spine straight, look forward. Inhale, press into your left foot, rise all the way up, right knee comes up this time. And find your balance here. Press in with that left foot, breathe. As you exhale, right foot comes in front of the left, you're crossing your legs here, and once your right foot is done, lean forward, palms face all the way back, fold. Deep inhales, deep exhales. You might be feeling a stretch outside of your left thigh, that IT band. So keep breathing, send your breath there. As you inhale, press into your left foot. Right knee comes back up, palms to heart center. We're gonna come back into a yogi squat, pressing that right foot in, sit all the way back down. Inhale, arms out. Start to sit up halfway, hold. Breathe. Tuck in your tailbone, engage your core. Come down halfway and then inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half flat back, Arda. Exhale, plant your hands, bring your legs all the way back, vinyasa. Exhale back, meeting in downward facing dog. So that was our right side. We're gonna do our left side next. Finding our breath. Maybe taking deep exhales out, sighing it out through our mouth. Inhale, left leg comes up, three leg dog. Again, find your alignment. Flex those toes towards your shin. Press into your fingertips. Nice, strong arms. Hips in one straight line. You're going for length, not height. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Hold. Engage your core, your Mula Bandha, your Uddiyana Bandha. Breathe. Inhale, left leg comes back up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Hold. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Hold the asana. Left foot kicks out. Right arm comes up. Ball and triangle. Again, you can bring that left foot up and start to float it, finding more of a challenge here. Your choice. As you exhale, right hand comes back down, left knee to chest, then press that left foot down where your left hand is. 
and then left hand rises all the way up. Now you're twisting from your thoracic spine, not your lumbar. So your hips are attempting to be in one straight line and you're twisting belly button and up. Breathe. Exhale, left hand comes back down. Press into your right foot. Get nice and long through your spine and then inhale. Arms come up halfway behind you, palms face up. Engage your core. Inhale, hands come back up, palms face each other. Again, you're not dumping into your hips, you're engaging your core, using your core to find this balance. And then press into your left foot. Hands come to heart center, right knee rises all the way up. Again, find your balance here, breathe. Exhale, right foot back down on the mat, sit down, yogi squat. Inhale, press into your right foot, left knee starts to come up halfway. If you want more of a challenge, you can start to bring that right knee towards your left elbow, or left knee towards your left elbow. As you exhale, bring that left foot outside of your right. Come down all the way, fold arms back, palms face up. Deep breaths here. Top of your head reaching towards the mat. Inhale, come back up, press into that right foot. Left knee rises. Take your time getting there, no rush. Exhale, left foot plants, yogi squat all the way. Inhale, arms out, come up halfway. Hold. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Exhale down halfway. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, fold. Start to heel toe your feet back into the middle of your mat. Inhale, half flat back, Ardha. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms all the way up, palms touch, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, close your eyes. So that first flow, we took a little, little slow, just kind of setting up, finding our alignment. We're going to do the same flow a little bit faster this time. And then the last one is gonna be the same flow, but breath to movement. Inhale, arms all the way up, palms touch, urva. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half flat back, Ardha. Exhale, plant your hands, legs back, plank, Halakasana, Vinyasa. Meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, knee to right elbow, hold. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Kick out that right foot. Inhale, left arm comes up, fall in triangle. Exhale, left hand down. Right foot replaces your right hand. Right hand comes up. Exhale, right hand back down onto the mat. Inhale, rise halfway, palms face the sky. Inhale, arms up, palms face each other. Exhale, press into your right foot, left knee comes up. 
Exhale, left foot down, squat. Inhale, come up, right knee rises. Exhale, right foot over left. Arms back, fold. Inhale, arms up to heart center, right knee rises. Exhale, right foot comes down, yogi squat. Come up halfway, arms out. Exhale, come down halfway, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, legs back, vinyasa. Meet in downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left, right elbow. Kick your left foot out, right hand comes up. Exhale, right hand down, left foot replaces your left hand, left arm comes up. Exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, come up halfway, palms face the sky. Inhale, arms up, palms face each other. Press into your left foot, right knee rises. Exhale, right foot down, squat. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, left foot crosses the right. Fold, palms up. Now you're squeezing your shoulders back in this asana, allowing the top of your head to reach the bottom towards your mat. Inhale, press into your right foot, left knee rises. Exhale, squat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, come down halfway. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, fold, heel, toe, your feet in. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up, palms touch urdhva. Exhale, hands to heart center, down to the side. Samastitihi, Tadasana. All right, so hope you all are doing well, nice and warm. <laughs> And we're going to do that flow one more time so you know where you're going. If you'd like to take this on your own at home, please do so. Otherwise, you can follow along with my breath. And again, you can go at your own breath. So if I'm too fast or slow for you, you can pass right by. This is your practice. So starting again in Tadasana, finding our breath if we've lost it. Checking back in with our intention. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, Urdhva. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half flat back, Ardha. Exhale, plant your hands, legs back, Vinyasa. Meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Exhale, kick your right foot out, hand comes up, fall in triangle. That was your inhale. As you exhale, bringing that right foot, placing it over your right hand, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands back down onto the mat. Inhale, rise halfway, palms up. Then inhale, arms in front. Keep breathing, inhale, left knee comes up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, right foot goes over left. 
palms pass you by inhale come back up right knee bends exhale squat inhale halfway exhale halfway inhale all the way exhale fold inhale half flat back exhale plant your hands legs back vinyasa Lead in downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to elbow, fall in triangle. Exhale, left foot replaces left hand. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, rise, palms up. Exhale, hands in front, palms face each other. Inhale, press into your left foot, right knee up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, left foot over right, fold. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, halfway. Inhale up all the way. Heel toe, your feet in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, fold, release, let go. Inhale, come up halfway, reset. Exhale again, one last time. Uttanasana. Inhale, arms all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Coming into toe stand. Balls of your feet, bring your knees, thighs together, engage your core. Come down all the way as slow as you can go. Start to bring your glutes all the way to your mat as gracefully as you can. Well, hello there. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath, but um, it's hard to talk, right, while you're doing this. But I hope you guys all got nice and warmed up. We're gonna do our baby grasshopper now. We're pretty warm for it. Um, we have stretched out our IT band, we've engaged our core, and we've done a lot of good things to prep for this asana. So, you should all be sitting onto your mat with your feet extended out. You can start to flex your toes, get an extra little stretch there behind your hamstrings. Now you're gonna start to leave your left leg extended out. Start to bring your right knee bended. Now your right foot's on the mat right now. You're gonna lift up that right foot, place it over your left knee and then plant it about by your left knee. Our anatomies are all different, so wherever it kind of lands and it feels comfortable. Now you're gonna start to bring your left hand behind you. Now it can be, again, because our anatomies are so different, it can be diagonal to you, it can be right behind you, whatever feels good for your body. That's where you place it. Your right hand, you're gonna extend it up as we did when we were in fallen triangle, and then start to keep, reach towards the sky, keep reaching, keep reaching, and then exhale, start to bring it towards the outside of your left foot. Grab onto the outside of your left foot. Now, you're gonna press in to your right foot and you're gonna press in with your left hand. You're also gonna engage your core. All right, now press into both, engage your core, and start to sit up, bringing your left leg with you. All right, that's baby grass hop. It's deceiving, it looks like really easy, but then you try and do it and um, you kinda get stuck sometimes. 
So let's do the other side too. We don't want to walk out of here looking crazy. So extending our right, our feet out again. Our right foot keeps extended out. Left foot starts to bend onto our mat. Left knee is bent. Pick up your left foot. Place it over your right. So again, your anatomy is all different. Um, we each have something different um, with our bodies that we're working on. So now you're gonna place your right hand out as a kickstand almost. Inhale, left arm starts to come all the way up to the sky, keep reaching, and then exhale, reach to the outside of your right foot. All right, now every side's different, so this side might be easier or harder than the other. As you inhale, press into the mat, lean forward a bit, and then start to sit up. And if you didn't get it this time, patience, young grasshopper. I've been waiting to say that. All right, so that's your baby grasshopper. Hope you enjoyed that flow. Um, I do encourage you to take a Shavasana. We are almost out of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down, take a Shavasana. You can end your practice at home however you'd like, but I encourage you to kind of lay down here, take your last most important asana of them all, Shavasana. So coming down however you choose, allowing your body just to rest here, get grounded back onto your mat and the earth. Letting go of any expectations you have. Letting go of any attachment you're holding on to. This is your sacred time with yourself. And so honoring your time. I found a quote that I really, um, I really love, and I think it's really applies to these times at the moment. We are all taking this quarantine, the shelter in place, a little bit differently from day to day, and um, even myself included. And I think no matter what you're going through or whatever your emotions are from day to day, one thing is for certain that this is change. Um, our society has changed in some way. We are all changing. We're going through a change. And so this quote by Maya Angelou really sticks with me during this time, and hopefully it can help you. Maya Angelou says, I can be changed. I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. 